We learned a lot from Ebola, but we're learning a lot more from COVID. I just want to ask, how are you? <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's, uh, we're in a strange time in the world. The foundation, as you may know, contributed over $300 million directly to the COVID response um, to support our partners that are working uh, in this area. Almost uh, every division of the foundation is involved in COVID in some fashion. Being essentially a lawyer, I think this is a really great opportunity to maybe shed some light on some of the challenges that you face during a pandemic. You know, I think uh, urgency is really one of the, the biggest challenges. Um, at the foundation, you know, we're very used to working under tight timelines. Um, we always have a sense of, of urgency um, because we know, you know, what we're doing, what our incredibly important partners are doing, are directly contributing to saving people's lives and time matters. COVID has um, accelerated the need for urgency in, in so many ways. And I think we're seeing that around the world with all of the entities who are trying to respond and, and help to the situation. But the need to expedite the legal constructs to keep up with that um, can become particularly challenging um, because you know we know that sometimes these very complex relationships uh, and legal agreements do take time. And so we're trying to um, figure out ways that we can uh, work with our our clients to support what they're doing uh, at the you know speed we're trying to do it so that's I think that's been one of the bigger challenges. The foundation played a significant role especially when Ebola happened a couple of years ago. There are some comments from your founders Bill Gates having even in fact predicted this. Um, from your perspective what, what did you learn legally from the first incident to um, to now with COVID? Were there some lessons that you were able to transfer? I was actually quite fortunate to be on the uh, Ebola response team. And so that was helpful both programmatically, but also from a legal operations perspective. When we convened the COVID response team, one of the first things we did was actually uh, go back and look at all of our lessons learned from Ebola and apply those to how we were thinking about responding, particularly given, um, as we saw in Ebola, the critical need to continue to operate very quickly um, to be able to mobilize funding um, extraordinarily fast. And we took those lessons learned and immediately applied them to our COVID response, and that's been critical in um, increasing efficiency in um, moving you know this amount of funding um, to our partners um, which was uh, even far greater than than what we had done in ebola when it comes to legal um, or any support function right we are a support function and our strategies are set programmatically so the malaria strategy um, the polio strategy vaccine development and delivery um, these are all set by the programs and we try to work with our program teams to create the most elegant, simple, expedient mm -hmm. solutions that we can to achieve these incredibly audacious goals. Um, we don't want the legal work to get in the way. work that Bill has done and described um, in terms of the need to make sure we are prepared for these types of events. And while it's very, very difficult and incredibly um, sad in terms of the number of people who've been affected and that we've lost, it's also important that we've all experienced this in a way that we've not before working from home, being remote, social distancing. How do we do that and still support our neighbors, our most vulnerable patients, our elderly, our community, people most in need in the world? And 
I think that experiencing that is an important part of learning what we can do and what we can do better. And I believe that those lessons will continue to help us going forward as a community globally. Um, so I, you know, again, I'm, I'm an optimist and uh, I, I believe that those, those lessons will be taken very seriously mm -hmm. and we'll learn a lot from how we can work better together um, to solve some of the most difficult problems in the world.